The hydraulic profiling tool from Geoprobe is a real-time logging tool that measures the pressure required to inject a set flow of water into the soil as the probe is advanced into the subsurface. HPT logs are used to determine the geohydrologic characterization of soils. The logs can indicate hydraulic conductivity, electrical conductivity, hydrostatic profile, and areas of EC and permeability anomalies. The HPT system is designed to evaluate the hydraulic behavior of unconsolidated materials. As the probe is pushed or hammered into the subsurface, clean water is pumped through a screen on the side of the HPT probe at a low flow rate. Injection pressure, which is monitored and plotted with depth, is an indication of the hydraulic properties of the soil. A low pressure response would indicate a relatively large grain size and higher permeability. Conversely, a high HPT pressure response would indicate a relatively small grain size and the lower soil permeability. An electrical conductivity measurement array is built into the HPT probe. This allows the user to collect soil electrical conductivity data for lithologic interpretation. In general, the higher the electrical conductivity value, the smaller the grain size, and vice versa. Mineralogy of the soil is the primary factor that influences soil EC response. However, other factors will influence subsurface conductance, such as pore water chemistry. In contrast, HPT is a physical pressure response and is independent of these chemical influences. HPT pressure is a combination of atmospheric, hydrostatic, and injection pressure. The HPT system may be used to direct other investigation methods, such as soil and groundwater sampling and slug testing. HPT pressure response and EC data can help target zones of geologic and hydraulic interest, identify contaminant migration transport and storage zones, as well as minimize the number of soil and groundwater samples required to adequately develop a conceptual site model. When hydraulic conductivity values are required, the HPT system can help the user identify zones to slug test, as well as the length of the screen required to adequately test the zone. The HPT system can be used to collect static water pressure data at discrete intervals during the logging process. This static pressure data can be used to calculate static water levels or to create a piezometric profile for the log. EC and HPT sensors are standard on all Geoprobe probes, including contaminant logging tools. The instrumentation that we use for HPT is going to be the HPT controller, which is going to allow us to be able to set our water flow uh, that we're going to be injecting out of the probe, uh, the flow rate. It also is monitoring the uphole pressure as well as recording the downhole pressure that's seen at the sensor. We also have the field instrument, which is collecting the data from the HPT controller. This is also going to be operating our electrical connectivity. It's got the circuit board for that and outputting the voltage and collects all the data and transfers that to our field laptop. The HPT probe, which is connected to the instruments via a trunk line, looks like this. And we have um, a four dipole electrical connectivity Wenner array uh, for the collection of electrical connectivity for determining soil lithology. And then we have a screen on the side of, of the probe where we're going to be injecting water into the formation. Directly above the probe, we're going to have an HPT sensor downhole. And this sensor uh, allows us to be able to record how much pressure it's uh, taking within the formation to inject the water that we've initially set up in the controller. With equipment set up, QA testing must be done before and after each log to ensure that the equipment is working properly and generating good data. Testing includes an EC load test and HPT reference test. Depth is recorded by connecting a depth potentiometer to the unit. The flow of water is started. Once the HPT screen is at the ground surface, the trigger button in the software can be clicked. The probe is advanced at a rate of 2 cm per second. Dissipation tests are completed in a zone of higher permeability indicated by lower HPT pressure. At least one dissipation test must be performed in order to calculate the static water level and estimate a groundwater-specific conductance readings from the log. 
Dissipation tests need to be performed below the water table and are best in zones of higher permeability where the injection pressure can dissipate off quickly once the flow is shut off. This information gives us an accurate measurement of static water level in formation and calculate hydraulic conductivity. The process is repeated until the predetermined log depth is reached or until refusal is attained. After the logs are complete, operators can open them in the DI Viewer software to review, print, and export the data for modeling. DI Viewer is a free software on our website for all to use. A typical HPT log consists of electrical conductivity, HPT pressure response, HPT flow rate, and estimated K. In general, both HPT pressure and EC values increase with decreasing grain size and decrease with increasing grain size. It is fairly common to see zones where EC readings and HPT pressure contradict one another. This can happen when there is poor mineralogy of the soil particles resulting in silts and clay soils with lower EC readings. Silts intermix with sand particles and weathered bedrock may have low EC but would have low permeability. Where we have cases of higher EC and lower HPT pressure typically is due to an ionic influence in the soil or groundwater. This log shows an ionic impact from an upgradient remediation fluid injection in a permeable formation on top of a silt clay unit. Where the high EC and low HPT pressure readings are, we see a rapid increase of estimated groundwater specific conductance. High EC readings from ionic impacts can range from very slight to higher than typical soil readings. Very high EC readings can occur when the probe contacts metallic objects or slag in the soil, which will ground them out and typically result in a hard sharp spike in the EC data. In cases where HPT and EC do not confirm one another, it is important to take confirmation soil and or groundwater samples to help understand the difference between the two graphs. The HPT system from Geoprobe is used to evaluate the hydraulic behavior of subsurface soil. The pressure response identifies the relative ability of the soil to transmit water. For more information, visit our HPT webpage at geoprobe.com HPT or call us at 785-825-1842.